Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 23. Today I will create a systemd service. Open the terminal. Connect to your server. I connect with SSH. My username at and the IP of the server. Enter. Write the password. And I'm connected to the server. Clear the terminal. I want to create configuration files. Open Visual Code. It should be configuration repository. Main branch. In the Jenkins server folder, create a new file. And it is create systemd dash service dot md. Create the headers. The first one is create backend up systemd service. The second header is start backend up systemd service. Create a new folder in the Jenkins server, new folder, it is resources, enter, and in the resources create a new file. It is node.js dash backend dash app dot service. Add the file to the stage. It is the first file, add it to the stage. It is the second file, it is empty, add it to the stage. Close the working tree. Close the md file. And now, in the node.js backend app service, start writing. Create unit section, square brackets, unit, zoom in a bit, Good. I will put in the description the link to an article about Linux systemd service. You can read it. Let's continue. Write the description of the service. Description equals run node.js backend application server in the background. Good. Create the install section. Square brackets install. And now write wanted by equals. And now I need to find the value. Open the terminal. I'm connected to my server and I go to the folder CD home. List the content. I need to go to etc, cd, etc. Now I need to go to the folder cd, system, d, list the content. I want to go to the folder system, cd, system, clear the terminal, list the content, and in this big content, you must find multiuser.target.wants. I will show you the same folder from the file explorer. Open it. I'm on Linux. So I can connect to a remote server. I need just to write sftp colon slash slash my username server IP port number and the path on the disk. I will go to the root etc. Something went wrong. It is sftp and now it should work. Yes, I am in the etc folder. Here I need to find systemd. It is it. System. And here is multi user target wants. Copy the name, but without wants, 
it must be multi-user dash user dot target. Past it in the VS code, remove the dot, and it should be the value. Create the service section, square brackets, service. Set the working directory for the service. We created the working directory in the part 22. Watch it if you didn't do it. But I will go to the file run Node.js backend app on the server. Here is the path. It is home. Good. Next one is Node.js server. Next one is backend application. And the final one is Node.js backend. Let's check it from the file explorer. I need to go to home. So home. Node.js server, backend application, Node.js backend. It is this location. Create the exec start command equals, check the command in run Node.js backend app on the server file, scroll down, it is the command npm run start, Past it, set restart always. It will restart the service in case of an error. And the final thing, I want to specify the user under which the server will run. So I need to find the username. I created it in the part 21, watch it. And the username is also specified in the file create node.js server user. It is the command to create the user and it is this username. Past it here. We can also check it from the terminal. I only need to clear the terminal. I will go to the home folder, list the content, and here is the folder. Here is the user, Node.js server. I can also list all the users on the system by reading the pass D file. Right. Cut. etc. Pass D. It is the content of pass D file and it is our user, Node.js server and its home path. Add the file to the stage. Here is the content which I created right now. Add, close the working tree, write the commit message, create it, node.js dash backend dash app dot service. If you noticed, it is the file name. File, new line, create, systemd, service. Copy the commit message to use it later and now commit. It was committed, passed back the commit message and delete the first line. I want to create the systemd service in my Ubuntu server. Let's prepare the commands. Open the file, create systemd service. That is it. Arrange the windows, open the terminal, put it in the left corner. Make the VS code smaller. That is it. Clear the terminal. Create the shell block. Good. Now go to the etc. systemd 
system folder, copy the command, pass it in the terminal, run. I mean this folder, it is C system D system. Create a new file, sudo touch to create the file, and it will be the file node.js backend app dot service. Copy the command, pass it in the terminal, run it to create the file, write the password. Good. Check the content of system directory ls-la. We have many files and folders, but it is the file I created right now. Now I need to open that file and pass the content of my local file to the file on the Ubuntu server. Write the instruction, open, copy the path, make it bold, and copy the content from local resources slash node.js backend app service file. It is the command sudo nano copy the file name, paste it, make VS Code full screen, preview the file, it is view, command palette, open preview, and it is how the file looks like. Close the preview, make VS Code smaller again, clear the terminal, Copy the command sudo nano node.js backend app service, pass it in the terminal. Nano is a text editor. I opened the text editor. The file is empty. Take the local node.js backend app service, copy the entire content, and pass it in the nano editor. The shortcut is shift insert. Now we need to save the file. It is right out. So Ctrl plus O. File name to write is Node.js backend up dot service. Press enter. Good. And now exit the file. It is Ctrl plus X. Check the folder content. It is the file. Check the file content. Clear the terminal and write cut node.js backend app service. It is the file content, exactly what I wanted. Make the VS Code full screen. Check git changes. I edit the instructions, very good. Add the file to the stage and write the commit message, create it. Node.js backend app systemd service. New line create systemd service. Commit. Very good. I want to run the service. Arrange the windows again. Create the shell block. Good. Clear the terminal. Go to home folder. It is CD and it is all. Just press enter. Good. Prepare the command. It is sudo systemctl start node.js backend app.service. Copy the command. Pass it in the terminal and run. The service should be running. Check the status. Copy the command without sudo. 
past it and replace start with status. Copy the entire command, paste it in the terminal, run. It is the status of my service. It is running and here are the logs. The server is listening at 127.0.0.1 and the port number. Check it from the browser. Open the browser. Write the server IP. It is 192.0.6.8.0.50 and the port number. Enter. I see the server is running for 52 seconds. Refresh. It is running for 56 seconds. Let's restart the server. Open VS Code. Copy the command. Instead of start, I write stop. Copy the entire command. Paste it in the terminal. Run. The server stopped. Clear the terminal. Check the status. The server is inactive. Run the server again. It is start. Check the status. And the server is running. Refresh the browser. The server is running for 7 seconds, 9 seconds, 11 seconds. Add the file to the stage. I edit three commands. Add the file. Close the working tree. Write the commit message. Run systemd. Service. New line. Create. Systemd. Service. Commit. It was committed. Now I push to the main branch. Push. Yes. And it was pushed. It is all. The application is running in the background. Thank you for watching.